Hey, Steve Mignani here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts uh, with a 1968 Chevy Sport Van 108. Now, this is the uh, second generation of the Chevy Van, which of course came along in 1964. And uh, we got to remember that the Ford Econoline, the Falcon Econoline 1961, was the first American front engine forward control compact van, uh, following the lead of the Volkswagen Microbus. But again, the front engine was the thing that made the Econoline uh, a leader in this country and of course 64 Dodge and Chevrolet both joined the fray and the first generation of the Chevy van between 64 and 66 looked like this thing here. You can see it has a flat windshield, the headlights are up high and it's similar to the second gen of 1967 up but the difference is we can see at the front the headlights moved way down about a foot from up here to down here and of course, a curved windshield was another trait of the second gen, which was, of course, 1967 through 1970 on these Chevy vans. Now, the big thing about the first gen Chevy van was that there was strictly six cylinder and four cylinder, no V8 until you get into 1967 up. And these finally had the option of a V8 power plant. Uh, and this one here, this one's probably some old hippie shag wagon. I shouldn't say that too derogatorily, but this has a custom paint scheme on it. Kind of looks like the old panel paint. Hey there, puppy. Uh, panel paint with web work and must have been a pretty cool looking piece. Light blue, yellow, dark blue, light blue pinstriping. It was probably a good looking van in its day going to Woodstock or whoever, wherever. But so, speaking of colors, the bow tie in 1968, one year only deal where it was red and that identifies this as a 68. 69, that went to blue. So little tiny details all add up. But if you look inside the grill right here, to accommodate the V8 engine, the opening of that hallway, which brought air into the radiator, was made larger on these 67 and up Chevy vans. Now this one here, we can see the remains of this, it says here, Sport Van 108. And that means this one here is the longer 108 inch wheelbase, all added right here. Uh, the first gen Chevy van was a 90, uh, 99 inch wheelbase van, all of them. But for second gen, you could optionally get the 108 with this big window and extra wheelbase for more cargo capacity. Now this one here is a V8, and this looks to be probably a 283, two barrel, a 1970 only. You could get a 354 barrel in one of these things, which made it a muscle van of the first order. But we can see right here, the, uh, the dog house, which is not here now, but the engine bay is actually much wider on the 67 up, again, to accommodate the uh, cross flow radiator to keep that V8 option cooler. You can still get a six cylinder or a four banger in these things. I believe the four banger was still available. But again, the six cylinder is what you usually found in these things. But that again is a, a little 283 two barrel, maybe a 307 on shore. But vans often wind up in junkyards being used for storage of stuff. And in the case of this one, we can kind of have some fun here. This is a Mopar big block. We can tell it has the deep skirt design right here. Not a Hemi. If it was, we'd see cross bolted mains and a whole bunch more meat in here. And I feel up to the top here and I do feel, yeah, it's got the raised bump. This is an RB, either a 413, a 426 or a 440. Kind of a cool thing to find in the junkyard. Uh, sitting inside of here, probably savable, who knows. Uh, GMC V6 valve cover right here, this weird looking thing. It's not a 409. This is actually too short to be a V8, but it's the GMC six banger, the 305. Uh, kind of an interesting thing sitting here and uh, rust always wins in the end. Just ask Neil Young about that one. Uh, more goodies inside of this thing. We can see uh, the battery hole right there. Uh, for the second gen vans, that, little, that hole, that's where the battery went. On a Dodge or a Ford van, the battery sat inside of a box behind the driver's seat. But Chevrolet, for the second gen, they did that. But here's the, the drub for the first generation vans. This is a 1966 owner's manual, the final year for the first gen van. They had two locations for the battery. If we see right here, it says here for sport vans, the battery was mounted surface in that sort of uh, hinged box. And on the Chevy van, the utility vehicles, it was in the floor on the right hand side right there. Kind of an interesting detail that the first gen Chevy vans, uh, the battery was mounted one of two ways. And again, in the sport van, the surface mounting was about the, the passenger seats and the fact that there was a carpeted area right here, whereas the, uh, the Chevy vans, it was buried under a rubber floor mat. Kind of a weird little detail. The devil is indeed in the details. And let's walk away along here. And we can see traces of that sort of tangerine orange with sort of this webbing, cob webbing, they call that panel paint. Very cool, some pinstriping. And look at this, the can opener effect right here. This thing was dragged against something. And look how the metal 
I guess I, I might call a can opener to whatever it was. It just basically coiled up. Look at that. I mean, the metallurgist would have a field day studying what happened to this piece of metal in its moments when it was being mutated into that shape. But again, we come to the back of this thing. And before we look inside, this is the third generation Chevy van right here, 1971 up. Uh, had a snout on it like the 68 Ford Econoline. Finally gave people access to the engine through a hood. But again, these first and second gens are all flush face. If you want to look at the engine, you went inside between the front seats. But here we see inside of this one more goodies in the back. A Ford 8-inch rear axle. We know it's an 8-inch because if you look at the top of this, it's kind of flat right there. 9 inches are rounder. They look similar. And again, that's a Hotchkiss-style rear axle. But again, that's a Ford 8-inch. Not that desirable. Look at this old Delco battery right here. That's kind of cool. 12 volter. And we know it's a Delco because the caps say Delco. And if you look at it right there, we can see the little little rest of that. Kind of cool. People pay big money for reproduction batteries, but that's an original battery, perhaps the original battery to this van. But something that was cool about the Chevy van, the second gen, was there was a three-quarter ton version, whereas the, uh, the Dodge van of this period was strictly a half tonner. In Chevy land, you could get six lug wheels and a three-quarter ton if you really wanted it. In fact, here is a 1968 uh, catalog right here, or 69, I think. We can see here uh, the red says the Sport Van 108 comes in one-half or three-quarter ton editions. And again, six lug wheels on 16 and a half inch rims, something you can't get at this point in time on a Ford or a Dodge van. So that's where Chevrolet did make their vans a little heavier duty. And again, the, the 12, uh, 12 bolt rear axle on these things, pretty rugged stuff. But I gotta say this van's days of partying or going to Woodstock or, well, that's over. It's now in the woods where it's stock junk in uh, Bernice and Auto Wrecking's inventory of scrap metal waiting to happen. But again, if you like this video, be sure to check out, uh, subscribe to the Steve Mags YouTube channel, uh, hit the like button and hit the bell so you know when the next video is coming out, which is tomorrow morning.